Flowers are one of nature's most beautiful creations, with a seemingly endless variety of different species, colors, and patterns. So join me as we take a look at the top 15 most incredible flower arrangements from around the world. Number 15, Kokohof Tulip Gardens, the Netherlands. Located in the municipality of Lisa in the Netherlands, the Kokohof Tulip Gardens are one of the largest venues like this on the planet. And if you visit at the right time of year, you'll be treated to stunning, colorful vistas in every direction. Covering an area of 79 acres, around 7 million bulbs are planted in the gardens every year. Known especially for their range of tulips, you'll also be able to see hyacinths, daffodils, lilies, roses, and carnations. It first opened in 1950 as a place where bulb growers and flower exporters could display their products and has now become one of the leading annual flower displays worldwide. For most of the year, the gardens are closed to the public to allow planting to take place and for the flowers to be tended to, but the doors are opened for a two-month period beginning in mid-March when everything comes into bloom. The display is renowned around the world as being one of the most spectacular, and it's so popular that as many as one and a half million people will visit, averaging around 26,000 guests per day, which while they're open, makes the gardens by far the most visited attraction in the whole country. Number 14, Cape Floral Kingdom, South Africa. South Africa's Cape Floral Kingdom is near the very southern tip of the country, and it's only one of six recognized floral kingdoms in the whole world. Covering an area of more than 30,000 square miles, it's home to the highest concentration of non-tropical plant species that you'll find anywhere. Featuring a Mediterranean-type climate, the floral kingdom boasts more than 9,000 different species of plants, with more than 69% of all of them being endemic to the region. The reason why this has become possible is because of the unique landscape found in the area, with sandstone bedrock and a covering of shrubland, and this provides the perfect conditions for all these different species to grow. Now classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Cape Floral Kingdom does unfortunately hold a particularly worrying record, as being the site of the most rapid rate of extinction on Earth because of habitat loss, land degradation, and the influx of invasive plant species. Efforts are underway to try to limit this decline, but it's not yet very clear if this is having any positive impact at all. Number 13. Dubai Miracle Garden Dubai is the capital city of the Emirate of Dubai and has the largest population of any city in the United Arab Emirates. Located next to the Persian Gulf on the Arabian Peninsula, the land that surrounds it is virtually entirely made up of desert, so it's not exactly the first place you'd expect to find a wealth of plant life. Within an entertainment complex called Dubai Land, however, the Dubai Miracle Garden, which was opened in 2013, has gone against all expectations. Covering an area of 780,000 square feet, it has a reported 50 million flowers and 250 million plants. This makes it the world's largest natural flower garden, but of course each one has been put there by hand and is artificially looked after. Around 200,000 gallons of water is pumped in each day from the city's treated wastewater, and amazingly it was built for a cost of just $11 million. As well as hosting regular displays, the gardens also put on a number of high-profile events each year, and this has led to them breaking three world records, one for the highest vertical garden on Earth, another for the tallest supported topiary structure in the world, which is a 35-ton Mickey Mouse, and the final one for the biggest flower structure in the world, which has been designed in the shape of a life-size Airbus A380. Number 12, Medellin Flower Carnival, Colombia. Each year, the Colombian city of Medellin, which is the second largest city in the country, hosts the Festival of Flowers, an event that sees a series of parades, pageants, and concerts where flowers are the undoubted stars of the show. First taking place in 1957 to represent the end of slavery in the region, it's now held in August on an annual basis and is used to remember the freedoms that every member of society has and celebrate the wealth of plant life that thrive in the surroundings. Hundreds of people walk through the streets carrying huge floral arrangements, and it's also where collectors bring out their classic cars to adorn with flowers too, before joining in with the festivities. Tens of thousands of people specifically visit the city to take part in the festival every time it's held. And it's become so incredibly popular that after originally lasting for five days, it's now held over a period of two weeks. If you want to see some of the world's most incredible flower displays and also learn about a new culture, then the Medellin Flower Carnival is an event you simply can't miss.
number 11, Hitachi Seaside Park, Japan. Located on the coast of the Japanese city of Hitachi Naka, which is in the Ibaraki Prefecture, the Seaside Park is a stunning public space that's been perfectly designed to show off blooming flowers throughout the entire year. The site itself is on a 470-acre plot of land and has cycle paths and even a small amusement park with a Ferris wheel in the center. These provide the perfect way to take in the surroundings because this is unlike any public park you've ever been to. Growing all around are an estimated 4.5 million nemophila, for which it's become most famous for, and these translucent blue-petaled baby blue-eye flowers emerge during the spring and draw in tens of thousands of tourists from around the world. That's not all there is to see at the park, though, because there's also a million daffodils, 170 different varieties of tulips, and countless other species intermixed with one another. And on a good day, you'll find yourself surrounded by a wealth of color. The Seaside Park is now one of the main reasons people visit the city, and there are plans to extend it even further and to add new rides in the amusement park that gives an even greater view over the surrounding land. Number 10. Floral Safari, London the Royal Horticultural Society's Chelsea Flower Show is one of the largest and most high-profile events in the horticulturalist's calendar and brings flocks of people to London to see the displays for themselves. It's not just within the showgrounds that the world comes to life with color, however, as the streets of Chelsea too put on a display for visitors. The event, known as Chelsea in Bloom, is an annual competition that sees the various retailers competing with one another to be voted the best display. Each year there's a different theme, and one of the most recent ones was a floral safari. Rather than putting in lackluster effort, like you might expect from other places around the world, the store owners put in a huge amount of time, planning, and investment, and the results were astonishing. From a floral giraffe and a leaping lion, to even more giraffes, zebras, orchid arches, snakes, and even a baobab tree, the street really looked as if a safari had come to town in flower form. Each year, the theme is purposefully designed to be very different to the previous one, and based on these displays, you can only imagine what the next one might be. Number 9. Canola Flower Fields, Luoping, China For most of the year, China's Luoping County looks like virtually any other region of the countryside, with trees and green fields as far as the eye can see. Suddenly, however, the place seems to wake up with a glorious display of color, because this is one of the world's largest areas that's used to grow canola, which is a plant that's also known as rapeseed. Harvested to produce oil, it's a highly sought-after product, and while the blooming of the plants means that it's not long until the entire crop will be harvested, it creates an incredible carpet of yellow petals until that happens. At the beginning of the canola season, a festival is held in the nearby villages in honor of the plants, and for the month-long bloom, tourists and photographers from around the world descend on the place to see it for themselves. It's also an event that's important for local wildlife, because bees absolutely love canola plants, and at the same time help to fertilize them for the following season. If you are ever able to visit the canola flower fields for yourself, it's worth venturing to the peaks of the nearby mountains, such as the Golden Rooster Hill or the Hundred Thousand Hills, because from there you'll get an unbelievable view of the terraced gardens and fields that are ablaze with yellow flowers. Number 8. Lake Tekapu Lupins, New Zealand Lake Tekapu on New Zealand's South Island is a beautiful enough place during the entire year because of the stunning surrounding scenery. But for a few weeks in the late spring, it truly comes alive when carpets of lupin flowers come into bloom. Located towards the center of the Mackenzie region, it's one of the best places that you can go to see lupins. Their colors sharply stand out against the contrast of the turquoise waters of the lake and the baby blue sky and make for an incredible photo opportunity and also the ability to simply get lost in the wonder of nature. They grow along the roadsides and across huge fields that become full with them, over the years, pathways have been developed so visitors can easily walk through the bloom without damaging them. And there's also a number of restaurants and cafes that are only open during the blooming season to capitalize on the number of people that visit. One place of particular beauty is the Lakefront Church of the Good Shepherd, which was built more than a century ago and is also surrounded by lupins when they flower. Number 7. Lavender Fields, France the French region of Provence is to the southeast of the country and is such a historically important place that it was the first area of France that was turned into a region by the Roman Empire. 
With a landscape of rolling hills that are dotted with small villages and adjacent buildings, it truly is a magical place at all times. But it's between June and August that it really comes to life. That's because for centuries, farmers in the region have cultivated lavender. And during the summer months, the plants are in full bloom and cover the environment with deep purple hues. The Valensol Plateau is probably the best place to see this, as it's an area that's also used to grow wheat and sunflowers and features a number of picturesque villages and deep blue lakes. The addition of these other colors only serves to reinforce the beauty of lavender, and it is a breathtaking sight to behold. While you may well find lavender fields in many other countries around the world, there are none that are on quite the same scale as the ones in Provence, and certainly not surrounded by preserved historical monuments and glorious scenery. Number 6. The Brussels Flower Carpet, Belgium Every two years, the residents and local artists of Brussels in Belgium come together to put one of the most elaborate floral arrangements seen anywhere in the world together. Known as the Brussels Flower Carpet, it's built in the Grand Place, the city center, and covers an area of 19,000 square feet. It takes place every other August and is a phenomenal feat of organization that requires as many as a million flowers to be carefully placed by hand. It was first done in 1971 by a local artist, and from 1986 it became a regular occasion. Staying in place for three or four days, it becomes the centerpiece of celebrations around the city and sees a full event program arranged around it, including fireworks displays, jazz concerts, and a number of other traditional forms of entertainment. Each time a theme is chosen for the arrangement, which is linked to Belgium's friendships around the world and cultural heritage. In 2016, for example, the theme was Japan to celebrate the 150th anniversary to close links between the two countries, while in 2018 it was based on the state of Guanajuato in Mexico, featuring symbolism from ancient civilizations and, of course, dahlias, which are the national flowers of Mexico. Number 5. Fuji Shibazakura Flower Festival, Japan Set against the stunning backdrop of Mount Fuji, the Fuji Shibazakura Flower Festival is held every year from mid-April to June and celebrates Shibazakura, which are a type of colorful moss. With five different varieties, McDaniel's Cushion, Scarlet Flame, Autumn Rose, Tamano Nogare, and Little Dot, there are thought to be as many as 800,000 of the plants growing there in varying shades of color. It makes for an absolutely breathtaking sight, with the fields lighting up pink and seemingly surrounding Mount Fuji. It's one of the most popular events in the region, attracting huge crowds during the blooming season. Of course, there's far more to do than walk around looking at the flowers, and among the various forms of entertainment, one of the most peaceful and serene is the chance to take a panorama footbath, where you'll soak your feet in warm water while enjoying one of the most incredible scenic backdrops that Japan has to offer. Number 4. Carlsbad Flower Fields, California The Flower Fields in Carlsbad, California is a private flower garden that's open to the public between the beginning of March and Mother's Day each year. Featuring a range of different attractions such as the Tecolote Giant Ranunculus, which is a huge greenhouse that's filled with Cymbidium orchids, and a 300 by 170 foot American flag that's made of red, white, and blue petunias. Each year, between 1 and 200,000 visitors go to see the glorious fields for themselves, and around 180 volunteers are on hand to show everyone the sights. Particular focus is put on the educational aspect, with around 7,000 schoolchildren visiting to learn about how planting is done on such a vast scale, and to keep everyone entertained, there are also antique tractor wagon rides that provide unique tours around the place. The fields extend as far as you can see in all directions and are covered in hundreds of different plant species that thrive in the Californian sunshine. It's become such a popular event that it's regularly highly reviewed by TV networks and publications, which only serves to increase the number of visitors and allows the owners to continue using the site for this purpose instead of having to redevelop it. Number 3. Celebrity Wedding Flowers Weddings are, of course, the events where extravagant flower arrangements are most common, and you'd be hard-pressed to find a single bride who didn't meticulously plan the bouquet and decorative elements at the venue. Celebrities who usually have far more money to fund the displays and who have to keep up appearances for when the images become public are known for taking things to the extreme. But when Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganiello got married, they truly went next level. 
selecting only flowers that had been grown in Holland. The varieties used included Avalanche Plus White Roses, Sensation White, Purple Haze, and Happy Valencia Orchids, Red Naomi Roses, Stella Cymbidium Orchids, and Magic Blue and Magic Pink Orchids. They were used to create floral trees and low hedges along the aisle and as table centerpieces and the bridal bouquet itself was made with a rare type of orchid and apparently took the work of 32 people over 1,600 hours to complete. With cascading stems wherever you look, this was truly a wedding fit for a fairy tale princess and features tens of thousands of flowers, likely running into the hundreds of thousands of dollars in price. Number two, Agassiz Tulip Festival, Canada. The Agassiz Tulip Festival is the first such event to be held in Canada's Fraser Valley and is the largest flower festival in Western Canada. Held every year since 2006, it covers an area of 20 acres that during May are in full bloom. According to the organizers, the longest rows of tulips measure up to 2,300 feet long, and they're six and a half feet wide, which is a lot thicker than most other American tulip farms do. They plant the tulips like this to maximize the number of plants that they grow per acre, as well as make sure there's less interference in the images taken by visitors. And in total, it's estimated there's as many as 7 million tulips in bloom each season. The organization behind the festival was able to use land that's perfect for the flowers too, which means there's hardly any standing water and it's highly fertile soil. As well as planting tulips of various colors together, displays are made, such as in recent years, a huge recreation of the Canadian flag in tulips. And they also built a large traditional windmill with a viewing platform to give an unhindered vantage point to look out at the entire place. Number one, the Orchid Dinner, New York Botanical Garden, United States. First established in 1891, the New York Botanical Garden is located in the Bronx Park and covers an area of 250 acres. It has more than a million living plants, a huge conservatory that recreates several different climates, and a library with one of the world's largest collections of botanical texts. It functions as an important education and conservation facility and helps further the study of different plant species and their role in the natural world. It's so much a part of this city that now it's been declared a national historic landmark. But despite this, it still needs to raise funds to continue with its mission. One of the events that is held to help with this is the annual Orchid Dinner that's usually held at the Plaza Hotel. For that night, the Botanical Garden makes the hotel's ballroom an extension of the gardens and turns it into an incredible orchid oasis. While celebrities and investors mingle and socialize, they find themselves surrounded by thousands of perfectly grown orchids that are arranged into various centerpieces, structures, and visual displays. If orchids are your favorite plants, then the orchid dinner is where you'll see the finest arrangement anywhere on Earth. The only difficulty is getting a hold of a ticket, with entry prices ranging in the tens of thousands of dollars per person. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.